G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look what I'm doing. I'm still in the Christmas spirit, even though it's only a week and a half away. Uh, maybe a week by the time you see this, but um, I was scrolling through um, YouTube, as you do, and I saw these molds pop up. I know everyone's doing baubles at the moment. I and mean, then I thought to myself, oh, I've got those. Um, so I thought, oh, I haven't used them. <laughs> Let's use them. And they, there's, there's a, a round, a star, a tree, and a heart. So they're a set of four. Um, I will pop these up in my store. Well, there's no rush now because Christmas is almost, almost been and gone. But I'll put them up soon for you. Um, like I said, set of four. Now... When, when I got these out, I was a little bit confused about where where to pour. So I'm going to see if I can show you. I don't know how good it will be. This, this, there's a hair. <laughs> this section in here is lower than this, this and this. Are about the same height so this bit and this bit are the same height this bit is lower so what I'm going to do and see there's stars in the sky so obviously it's you know night time <laughs> so it does lend itself to a navy blue so I'll use navy blue and then it's um I use white for, for snow especially the um, the tree the trees a bit different I'll show you in a minute so this is that's higher this is lower so I'm gonna pour just this low part now in the blue <laughs> dark blue um, and then once that sets up I'm gonna pour white and then I'm gonna pour dark blue again over the top over this this bit here so with the tree and I'll show you the back See that's got this this section here that's the lower bit and then that section there which is the higher bit when you flip it over the tree is a bit different it's only got this it's got this lower bit here and it's kind of got a bit of an overhang so that is the section I'm going to do the dark blue this bit here it's going to be the snow on the tree obviously so that's going to be white um, and you can see here the the foot of the antelope antelope deer <laughs> it's a reindeer <laughs> the foot goes into that there so it will it'll all be white and but then it'll flow over the top of that blue that i'm doing oh look i hope you understand so that one's a bit different the others have all got the two levels this one's only got the one level and i'm thinking it's because it's the tree and it's going to look like snow on the tree all right so that's my thoughts anyway so I'll get started. Um, I have got, I'll put my other glove on now. I've got some Platinum 360 Plus. For the navy blue, I'm going to use this. It's a gorgeous colour. It's called Deep As You Write by Art Tree Creations. Really pretty. And then into that, I'm going to put some sparkle powder. And then for the white, I'm going to use white satin by Lorez Expressions and I'm going to add some white sparkle to that so that'll be the next layer but for now just going to do the navy um, and I am using the Platinum 360 Plus because I'll be able to do the next layer in a couple of hours just have to wait until it's kind of tacky obviously you don't want to have the resin in there too thin otherwise your next layer is just going to all run into it but this has got a gorgeous shine to it and I think it looks really like night sky I have got lots of other blues but I didn't want to do a royal blue um, some of the blues are kind of purpley blue so I think it's really difficult to get a nice dark blue but I think this one this one is gorgeous I'll put a little bit more in there I've gone I bought myself a second jar because it's nearly empty and it's one of my favorite colors so Art Tree Creations, Deep As You Write. Let's mix that up. 
actually I should put some of this in it before then I can mix the two together now there's no color to this it's just like a very very fine glitter very very fine uh, I'm gonna take a little spoon I probably don't need a lot yeah it's starting to fly away already okay I'll be have to be careful of it because it, it just gets everywhere now this is by Artie Sue and Artie Sue is no longer around. Um, I'm just going to take this over here for a minute while I stir. But look, there's lots of different companies, brands that do just a sparkle glitter. Okay. So that'll just give it a bit of a, a sparkle, a bit of a sheen. Hopefully it's not too much. <laughs> oh, it's probably a little bit too much in there, but there we go. All right, so that's that. Now, because I need to get it into little tiny areas, I am going to use a piping bag. I'm not going to fit all that in. I made 50 grams of A and 22 grams of B. Just put it in my little piping bag here. So, yeah, I probably don't need all of that, but it's, you know, it's it's difficult making up a teensy wincy little bit of resin, so I'd rather make up a little bit more. And then I can pop it into something else, into one of my little, maybe my puffy heart pendant or something like that. Now, there's my little scissors. I'm going to make a little, tiny little hole because I don't want it coming out too fast. Okay. Alrighty. Now, this is going to be the... I was going to say it's going to be the easiest one, but because it's got the overhang, actually I'm going to stick that right in there like that. And I'm sorry if you can't see, but I don't want to pick it up and spill it everywhere. So I'm just actually putting the nozzle right in underneath this little flap here. Uh, you could use a syringe, you could use a like a pipette type thing, uh, you know, like a baster, whatever, whatever floats your boat, whatever you think's easy for you to use. Oops, <laughs> I need a little bit more. I've gone over in a couple of little areas. I'll just, see that little tiny bit there, I'll just, um, I'll wipe that away later. And I'll come back and I'll like squish all the points as well in a minute once I've, I've finished. Now, let me just double check which is the run I'm doing. Okay, this one. It's only about, this one's only about two millimetres deep. So, oops, got to be careful not to overflow it. I guess I could have made my little hole in the piping bag a tiny bit smaller. It comes out pretty quick. I know there's a little gap there, but I'll fix it up with my toothpick in a minute. All right, now the next one is here. Again, I think if you get your little piping bag right down close, you've got a better chance of getting it in there without making too much of a mess. Catch your drips like you guys, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Get in the corner. <laughs> it doesn't want to. All right, and the last one. Again, the little section here that's kind of in the middle. It's not the edge. The edge is, is higher. Oh gosh, I've got quite a lot of it. <laughs> Lots of navy blue resin left. Oh gosh, what am I going to do with it all? Look, I've still got that and that. But we needed half of what I mixed up, I would say. Now these little micro brushes are great. Great for using in the studio. Uh, I need to buy myself some more. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to spray a little bit of alcohol into my little cup here. And I'm going to dip that in. And I'm going to use that just to clean up any little overflows, any little spills, okay? Nice and easy. There's one under here I can see. 
because that's going to probably be white later on so I probably don't want that spilt a little bit there I guess that's just me being a bit pedantic about it right, anywhere else anywhere else anywhere else oh look I did pretty well I think pretty well oh there's a little bit here I think my piping bag must have the side of the piping bag must have just touched the um the edge there but see how easy that cleans up and there's a bit of glitter we'll get that too i think that's it you guys and then i mean there's only a little bit of spray in there but you can pop it back into your your jar into your bottle i think that's about it like i said it's, it's not very deep at all these ones these three are probably only about two millimeters deep this one's a bit deeper so i could i could put a little bit more in that one just going to wind up my packing bag a little bit more. I could have made the hole a little bit smaller just so that it's not dripping so much. Just going to pop a bit in the corner there and let it flow. Catch that. A little bit here. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. I don't want to risk making a big mess everywhere. Because it's very drippy. And I didn't want to wait until it, you know, got thicker because then it's it doesn't spread as well. So I'm just going to clean up my edges. I think those will be blue anyway. Now I'm going to get you down so that you can have a little look. I mean, you could do a little bit more like it's quite deep this one this this edge I'm just making a mess it's got onto the little I guess that won't matter it's got onto the little nib might as well clean it off hey eh? I always say do do to the best of your ability if you can clean it off, then do so. Hey, right now, if I go any deeper with this, it's going to start flowing in to where the um, the deer are. Now, let me just get my gloves off, and um, I want to reuse these for the next layer. So let me just ah, bear with me. There we go. One's <laughs> no, I'm not going to torch. Um. Yeah, I mean, oh, I guess you could have sprayed with alcohol beforehand to, you know, help prevent any little bubbles, but not that necessary. I'm just going to clean my little stick there because if you clean the the resin off it and then dry it, you should be able to hopefully use it again. All right, let's get you down. Take you off the tripod. You can see the little bit of sparkle there. I guess there'll be more on the other side. Oh, see, I, I don't know. It's not as heavy as glitter, so it might not. It might not fall to the back. I'm not sure. Can you see? You can kind of see there that that's higher than that. So that's that's where it's sitting. And then this one. Yeah, that one's a bit different. But then this one's got the same thing. And then that one's got the same. So if you fill it up any more, um, the navy will flow across into that other section here. <laughs> and that's going to be white. All right, so there you go. Um, that's it for now. I'm just going to let these set up for a little bit. Um, and then once they're hard enough for me to lay the next layer down, we'll come back and mix up some white and do the next layer. And that'll flow into all these little crevices. <laughs> See you soon. Right, I'm back. These have set up enough for me to touch them without getting sticky. If I had to poke them, they would leave a, a dent, but they're soft. They're, they're set enough for me to do the next coat. 
So, um, like I said earlier, I was going to use my thinnest resin that I have. And this one is the Platinum Ultra Clear. It's black water, really thin. So I'm going to do that. Now with that leftover navy that I did, that I had, I made these. Look, I popped them in my puffy heart mold so we can unmold those a little bit later. Um, now let's get started. Um, I made up, I've just made bubbles by doing that. I made up 112 grams of A and 48 grams of B. And hopefully that will be enough. So I'm hoping that because it's nice and thin, this resin, it should, should just flow in into all those little nooks and crannies. Um, and also, let's see if I can get that under. Look, I did. Oh, now it's popping back up. <laughs> get under there. Um, it's also got a really long work time. Which I might need more. It's got a long work time. So I don't have to worry about rushing. I can take my time. I might put this in at the same time and then only have to stir once. That would make sense, wouldn't it? It would make more sense. All right, let's do... Um, that's, it's like a level, a level teaspoon, a little, little teaspoon like that. A level one. Because we want it to be glittery. All right, I may put some more white in, we'll see. Let's see what it looks like. It's got to be nice and opaque. I don't want to see the blue poking through the white. No, I won't. <laughs> because the blue is going to be on the top. Oh my gosh. Uh, the blue, when you turn it over, the blue will be on top. So you won't see the white through the blue. My gosh. All right. I think I'm going to add some more white. Like I want it nice and opaque. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Put the little lid on it before I spill it. Now, I had an idea of something else that I wanted to do. Because you know how my Christmas colours are red, white and silver? Do you think that once these are unmoulded, I can put tape around the edges and put a clear coat on so that they're flat on top so they can be a, a coaster what do you think a Christmas coaster what are your thoughts on that I don't know we're just gonna have to try it aren't we because you guys know me I like to push the boundaries I like to experiment so yes because you know once Christmas is over I mean, these are still really adorable, and I'd like to use them as coasters, although they are pretty Christmassy, aren't they? But I'll, I'll try that. At some stage, I will try that and see if I can make coasters out of baubles. Um, they'll have the little hole in them, obviously. So I'll have to, once they demold, I'll have to fill the hole. I have to mix up a little bit more white and, and fill the hole. Or red, but I thought red glitter would be amazing with white and then silver. See, I would be inclined, instead of doing the navy like that, I would do that bit silver, then I would do the rest white and then top it with the red glitter. That's that's my thoughts, what do you think? What are your thoughts on that? Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm stirred enough. <laughs> are we nice and opaque? Looking good. All right, now again, I'm gonna use my little cup here. A little paper cup. Put that there. Grab a piece of paper towel. Um, and away we go. So basically what I need to do now is fill up these little cavities. We'll go over the blue and we're going to fill up all of this now like so. We don't want to take it, oh, nearly spilt it. We don't want to take it up over the top of this. See this bit here? Because that's going to have the navy on top. 
I think I stirred a bit rapidly. I've got lots of bubbles. Well, hopefully they'll all settle. See, the, the good thing with a thin resin is, well, two good things, is it goes into all the little nooks and crannies because it's nice and thin. And also, because it's got the long work time, the bubbles can come up and, um, you know, and pop. They've got more chance of, of coming up and popping. So that's a good thing. Now make sure you wipe it off. If you get any white on this background here, wipe it off. Otherwise, when you unmold, you're going to see it like in the middle of your red. Not your red. See, I've got red on the mind now. You're going to see it in the middle of your navy. So you want that all nice, plain navy. So if you spill any. All right. Now, I see I've got to get into these little stars. This is going to be tricky. I think, oh gosh, I wonder if it'll go in there on its own. I fill it up a little bit more. I'm hoping it'll kind of run in on its own. Well, let's just leave it. I'll move on to the next one. And because there is a little gap there, like a little corral, little gate, and hopefully it'll run in there. So we'll leave that. We'll move on to the next one and uh, we'll come back. But you can have a look. See, it's already running in, you guys. It's working. It's working. Now, this one's a little bit more tricky because it's got that overhang. I don't know why, I, like I have no idea why it's got an overhang, I, I don't know what benefit it has <laughs> on having an overhang, I, I just, I don't know, I know not. Alright, here we go, so we're going over the blue, oh, I've just remembered, I didn't, I didn't squeeze. You know how I said I was going to squeeze all the edges? Totally forgot. Totally forgot to squeeze the edges, didn't I? Got sidetracked. Alrighty. I'm hoping I've mixed up enough resin. Now here we're going to go in and do the tree. The deer. Joe, a deer. And another little tree. And again, I'm just going to kind of leave it um, and let the resin hopefully run in and find its own way. Hopefully, it will. And you may notice I keep wiping that just because I don't want it dripping from there onto somewhere where it's not supposed to drip. All right, we've got a snowflake. I think this is a snowflake up here. Now, antlers. See, once, once this is set and I have got any pieces of white resin over my top here, I can just get a piece of tape or a little toothpick or something and I can just actually pick them off because they'll come off the, re the um, silicone really easily. So you don't have to worry too much about if you have got a bit of a spill, like an overflow. Don't be too concerned about that. Now I can see it hasn't gone in there. Go in there. Why won't you go in there? Ah. Look at the big bubble that just came out. Okay, so you've got to give that a squeeze. Give it a squeeze, please. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work. Don't torch when you've got gloves on. Okay, it's still... Still a big bubble there. Anyway, I will, I'll come back to that. I'll keep going. I will keep going. Look, you guys, this one, it's all filled in all by its little self. All by itself. This one just needs a bit more. Whoops, and I've spilt. It's a bit tricky, just I can see some bubbles in, in the corner there. Oh, look, I'm pushing them like that. There they go. There they go. Now they've gone. 
I just needed a bit of encouragement. But um, I'll, I'll have to go around and see there's a bubble on that one too. Yeah, bubbles in the corners, I can see that. The good thing about this is because the mold's clear, you can actually see where the bubbles are. Can you see, can you see that bubble there <laughs> that just came out? Pop. All right, I'll play with that later. Let's get a move on. I'll, I'll get those bubbles later. I will, I will, I will. Remind me. I'll get them later. We'll keep going. And hopefully the resin will just make its way in and... This is an easy one. Look at me go. This is easy. <laughs> small things. I'm going to use small minds, hey? Now I'm going to get behind that little nib there. Again, I don't want to put too much in. Oh, see, it dripped. Don't put too much in. It'll find its way. It's a lovely thin resin for this sort of thing. For intricate work. Right, I'm going to leave that. Um, put a little bit more in. It's already found its way into that star. It's got to get into the little tail here and into that antler. Let's see if I can drip put a couple of drops on that. <laughs> One drop. Oh, it's, oh my gosh, it's dripping down the other side. Okay, it's almost done. Oh, there's a big bubble come out. Right, next one. Around we go. That's a big star there, so it shouldn't have any problem finding its way into that star. Round there, round here, up into the tree, the little tree next to it. There's a little, I think that's a snowflake there. That's a snowflake. That's a snowflake there. That's the top of the tree and that's a little snowflake there. And now we do the deer. A little bit in the star. Okay, so that's pretty good. And I'm going to give it a quick little torch, just very lightly. I want to melt my mold. I don't want to melt my mold. All right, now I'm just going to. Oops, maybe not. Maybe not, because it's so runny. It's probably not a good idea to do that. I could do it with the first layer, but it's probably not a good idea to do it with the second layer. Now, I've got a little bit of resin that's run over the tops of these, but like I said, we'll just wait till the resin has dried, and then we can just pick off any little bits that are sitting where they're not supposed to sit, okay? Now, I'm going to use this little... I should better get a clean one. I'm going to use my little micro brush and I'm just going to poke each little corner it's weird because of the overhang like I probably need to put a little bit more in actually because there's a gap between the white resin in the bottom of the overhang. Not sure why there's an overhang. I guess we'll find out once it's unmolded. Do you say unmolded or demolded? Are you an unmold or a demold person? Okay, I'm going to put a bit more into this one. Let's see if I can get underneath. little overhang maybe not so much All right, there's a bubble there I 
Okay, how's this one looking? It's gone into everywhere that it's supposed to go, so now I'll just fill it up a little bit more. I hope it's going to be opaque enough. It's not looking that opaque, is it? Although, I mean, I did put quite a lot of marker powder in. I guess to get a really white, stark white opaque, um, you might be better off using a, a paste, hey? But these, these are really shimmery, so we'll see what, see what happens. So, you know, it's still going to be pretty, but then it might not be as stark a white as um, you'd get from a, a white pigment paste. Well, look at the tip of that tree. He's not done yet. I'm going to use my toothpick just to get in, in there. Yeah, it's really hard. You can't really pick it up and, and move it. Um, I mean, all you can do is, if you've got the time and the inclination, is push your toothpick into each of these little points. Because it's hard to see whether or not the resin's actually gone in there. But you could. Like, it doesn't take long just to poke each little one, does it? Because I think it would spoil it if you unmolded it and there was a big hole, big bubble in, in one of your star points. But it's looking good. Like I can't see anywhere that I've missed. I can't see any bubbles. And uh, you get a nice long work time with the resin, so you don't have to rush. You can take your time, check it for bubbles, come back, check it again, put a little bit more in. Oops, gone up the sides. Now once this is set, I'm going to come back and mix up that navy blue again with the sparkle and that's going to go over the top of everything so that this bit here that's now clear will be blue. Does that make sense? Push that down. Can you see those two bubbles that are just there? Because I pushed it down. And there they come again. Gosh, lots of bubbles. Let go slowly. <laughs> oh, oh, bubbles, bubbles. Bubble, bubble, tall and trouble. Ah, there's another one. Look, there's three. It's actually quite fun. All right, um, and I can see a bubble in that one as well. I thought I could. All right, anyway, that's enough of me fiddling and fussing. Uh, I'm just going to put in a tiny bit more just to bring this up to the height of that clear piece there. Don't go over, got to make sure you don't go over though, that's, that's the only thing because it'll spoil the look if you go over, so just be careful. Um, and that's it, so I didn't need all of that, I've still got about half an inch or so in the bottom of there, as opposed to in the top of there. <laughs> I'll change my, um, instead of doing 160 grams, I'll probably only do like 140. So probably 100 of A and 43 of B would be sufficient. All right, you guys. Now it's going to be, it's, oh, what is it? 6.30 p.m. now. I've got to go and organize dinner. Um, so the Ultra Clear won't be set until tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, we'll do the next, the next layer. You don't have to do it in three layers. You could just do white on most of it, and then come back and just do blue on that little bit there. You could, or red, whatever colour you're wanting to do. Okay, see you tomorrow. Right, it's the next day. These have set up. This one, I had to keep sort of squeezing the the points there. Now the only issue is, and I can see it through here, where um, I was squeezing, the, uh, the white has run down. Can you guys see that? <laughs> so the moral of this story is, if you're doing this layer, wait until your first layer is totally 
set before you go squeezing it and pushing the white down into it, okay? Don't do that. I always say, do as I say, not as I do, because I'm learning. It's how we learn. So anyway, I think the rest of them will be all right. I've mixed up um, 200 grams of resin. So 360 plus. I'm going back to the 360 plus because I'm just going to top coat these now. I don't have to worry about the thin resin um, because I haven't got any intricate designs. It's just going over the tops of these. So going back to the 360 plus. Um, what did I do? 112 of A and 48 of B. So I've actually got 160 because I thought 4, 8, 12, 16, 160 grams, like almost, what's 40? Mm, almost three ounces each? No. <laughs> oh gosh. One and a half ounces each. I'm trying to convert for you. 40 grams about one and a half ounces in each. But before we get to that, let's get these out of the way and then I can move my mold out of the way. So look, they're nothing, nothing special. They're just the leftover blue, midnight blue with the sparkles in it. So let's have a look. Oh, wow. That, oh my gosh. Love it. I hope that's what the others are going to look like. I guess they will. Look at that. Wow. They are very sparkly and shiny. <laughs> Love it. You know, don't waste your resin. If you don't have this puffy heart mold, you can put it in anything. You know, don't waste your resin. But um, yeah, those will be little giveaways for my people that order my mold. So yay, I like doing my giveaways. Put them to the side. All right. Let's get going. I need to put my glove back on. And we're going to do the same as what we did for the first layer of navy. I'm going to put some of this blue in. I need to... Oh, I guess I don't need to clean it. It'll be all right. As soon as I put it in, it's getting um, mica powder on it anyway, so it's going to be all right. Let's dunk that in there. I'll have a look and see if I need any more. Now with the white sparkle, it's a bit hard to guesstimate how much I used in the last one. Might do about a quarter of a teaspoon. With the white, I used a level teaspoon, but this have only sort of gone half of a level, so we'll see. I can always add more. We'll just mix that up and see what it's going to look like. I don't want too much sparkle falling through to the back but I do want a sparkle because look at that it's just gorgeous it's sparkling okay I think that's a little bit more sparkle than I had in that first lot might add some more blue to it make it a little bit darker A little bit more blue. There we go. So I want it nice and nice and opaque. I was looking forward to coming in and doing this. I don't particularly like doing things that you know have two or three layers because I'm too impatient. I am. I'm just too impatient. I want to get in there, do it, and get it done. But see, with the 360 plus, I can unmold, like in summer, which we're on in now, I can unmold in like six to eight hours. So, yeah, it's it's good. But I, I was thinking about my red and white and silver ones. I'm keen to do those as well and see if I can turn them into coasters. I'm not sure how to tape. I guess I could tape around. Well, this might be a bit tricky taping around the tree. Maybe I'll just start with one. <laughs> we'll start with one and see how we go, hey? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We'll do the round one. Because tape, and, and it's coaster shaped. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, now these are still quite deep. Like there's a lot of room there that you can still put resin in, but I don't think you need to. I don't. I don't think you need to have them so deep. 
especially if you wanted to hang them on your tree. I mean, they're going to be so heavy if you had to fill them all the way up. So as long as they're covered, I don't see why you have to make them so, so thick. What do you think? Do you agree? I'm going to have more of this navy left, aren't I? Oh my gosh. Because I looked at them and I thought, oh gee, they're very deep. I'll make up a lot of navy, but yeah, you don't have to have them so thick. Now I've got to make sure this hasn't gone around the back of that little nib yet, so I'll just have to ease that in. Now this one, this one the navy's got to go in the under here. I'll just I'll help it along with a, a little stick. Let's put my resin down for a minute. Um, where's my little stick? Um, here, I'll just use this little silicone brush there. I need to get that to go around here. Go around, go around. Once it's broken the damn wall, so to speak, at the sides there, it should just flow in. And I need to get it around there as well, like so. And what about you? You haven't gone right in there, have you? No. I think you have. That one's gone. <clears> that one's gone. All right, it's just this one that needs a little bit more around here. And then I can tidy up that. Well, see, this this is actually... Oh, no, I need to go over it. Oh, <gasps> Do I? Yes, yes, I need to go over that. Oh, what am I doing? I need to go over that, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yes, because that's going to be... There we go. <laughs> uh, I'm a duffer. <laughs> uh, it's early in the morning. It's um. Oh, well, it's nearly eight o'clock. Nearly eight o'clock in the morning. Let's put a bit more of these in. Uh, but yeah, certainly not filling them up all the way. But <laughs> I can't believe I was trying to go around that. <laughs> Needed to be all covered. Looks as if I'm gonna do some more puffy hearts, you guys. Some more, I will put them, can you see still? Here, I'll just do these two here. I hope my two blues are similar color. It's not something that you can mix up and then use the same batch, you know, the next day. So, uh, yeah, I just have to hope that it's the same, the same depth of color or similar. Now that's flowing in around that little nib. This mould, if you haven't seen this mould, it's got a built-in little hanger. So you can just attach your piece of leather or string or ribbon or chain or whatever it is you're wanting. You just attach it straight to the piece. You don't have to worry about drilling a hole, using a stick-on bale, none of that. It's ready to go. All right, so that's that. I'll have an extra two to, to give away. Now, who needs a tiny bit more? I'm going to have a little bit more. I'm going to have a little bit more. There we go. That's not bad. Finish it off. Finished it. All right. You don't want to waste resin, do you? I'd rather use it all up. But they're still not full, so that's fine. That is just fine. We don't have to fill them all up. I don't need to torch. This is the backs of them. Let's put my lid on my jars. And that's it. Um, give it a little bang. <laughs> It'll make any little bubbles come up. If, if you're so inclined, but I think it'll be fine. I mean, you could, you could do that because, you know, they're set now. So you don't go overboard and tip them over. All right, there we go. Now, um, I can come back this afternoon. Although I probably won't. We're having people over for dinner tonight. And um, 
I need to go and do some some prep. I made the dessert yesterday. We're having chocolate mousse, homemade chocolate mousse in cocktail glasses. So that'll be nice with whipped cream and chocolate shavings on top. And then um, Hubby's doing some butterfly lamb on the barbecue. And I'm going to do smashed roast potatoes and a pumpkin, a roast pumpkin salad with some feta and pine nuts and um, some spinach. So that's dinner tonight <laughs> with chocolate mousse and then maybe some Christmas treats afterwards. So I'll be in the kitchen this afternoon. I probably won't be able to come into the studio. So I will see you guys tomorrow for the unmolding and hope they've worked out beautifully. See you soon. Righto. Now it is about quarter past one at the moment, same day. I poured these about quarter to eight, so it's only been five and a half hours. But, uh, I'll start here, but it, it is really hot in my studio. I mean, in Australia here, um, it's hot. 28 degrees it was in my studio. So I came in, put the air conditioner on, I'm down to... 25 degrees at the moment so <laughs> I've got it set to 24 it'll cool down very quickly which is lovely right those are out but because it's hot in here my resin has cured fast so yeah only five and a half hours let's see if I can get these out oh I'm very excited very excited now there's a lot of detail I guess in the in the bottom there let's get the oh don't look! Did you see? Close your eyes. <laughs> no peeking. Oh. We'll get them all out and then we'll have a look, okay? Have a little peekaboo at make sure everything's out. All right, this one I'd loosened the top already because I wasn't sure if it was going to come out or not. But let's get all these little bits out. It's funny how this one's got the overhang. Oh, my dog's bark. I think my husband's just got home from, from golf. That's what the problem is. I've been in the kitchen cooking all day and, and he's been at golf. I made my pumpkin salad and oh my gosh you guys I got stabbed by a prawn <laughs> I've, I've peeled two kilos of prawns today <laughs> all right now you can see straight off that that's the the white around the edge there I'm hoping I've done these right well this one I'm hoping I've done this one right but like this is this is the lowest section so I couldn't have done it the other way all right are we ready here we go. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it's all sparkly and shimmery. Can you see the sparkle? We've got the white sparkling. We've got the sky sparkling. I think I did pretty good at matching these, these two blues. What do you think? I have, yeah, I've got a sore thumb. <laughs> Oh my gosh, peeling prawns. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that looks so good. Now, what do you think it would look like if this rim here was white? Like you could. You could just pour it all white and then pour the background in blue. But you can see in there. See how it's got white and blue in there? Oh, it's so good. All right, let's get the other one. I've been told I would take too long on my video, so let's have a look. Oh, oh, look at it, with a little baby, it's so cute, oh, I love it, now this is the tree, this was the little problem child that I, well I wasn't sure, oh, but no, I did say, you know how, because look, see how the, I was squishing and squeezing and the whites leaked down a bit, it can just look like snow falling on the branches, <laughs> can't it? Oh, that's a bit of over, a little bit of white resin. Yes, but wait till your bottom layer is cured before you go squeezing, all right? Oh, wow, look at it. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. 
There's a little bit there and there's a little bit there. It's not too bad. I guess you could kind of blend them and then you'd have white on the outside and it might look like snow. Like this. See, you could. You could try it. Let me know if you try it. Oh, wow. And I, I don't see any bubbles, you guys. Yay. All right, lucky last. Here we go. Oh, amazing. Stuff on my bench there. So this is the snowman. Okay, snowman. The others have all got deer. And this is the snowman. How cute. Now, if you look really carefully, you can see, like, he's got little buttons and things. And, like, there's features on his face. I guess what you could do is grab some paint, wipe it on and then wipe it off and you'll see all the, in blue, I'd probably do blue, um, and you'd see all the little features. Maybe we'll do that, hey? What do you think? And you could do the same with the deer because the deer's got like little lines and the trees have got little dots. So you could put paint on it, acrylic paint, but make sure your resin's really set though. Otherwise, you'll have trouble with it sticking. But you could put that on and then wipe it off. Maybe I'll just try. Should I try one tiny one? Oh, let's try it. I've got this. So, I don't have any navy. Let's just let put a little bit. Let's put a little bit on here, shall we? Just a little dab. I'm only going to do a tiny. Oh, there's a tiny bit. It's going to do a tiny little bit. Put that on my silicone little brush. It's probably not enough. Kind of rub it in a bit. And hopefully it comes off. Let's wipe it off with the baby wipe. Okay, a little bit got stuck in there. I was, I was being a little bit too careful. But look, you can see. All right, maybe a little bit more. It's nearly empty. Probably a brush, I guess, would work better. Put a little bit more on and push it into those little holes and things. I hope I'm not ruining this by doing this. But I want to see what it's going to look like. But yeah, I've only got black, so push it into all those little crevices. I'm getting it in there enough. Okay, I probably should use a piece of paper towel rather than a wet wipe, shouldn't I? Oh, look! <laughs> oh, look, now I've got paint all over myself. see where I've missed a bit but anyway you get the general idea like you could do it this was very makeshift I wasn't prepared at all was not prepared at all my paints all disappeared but he's got little grooves I don't know that you can see but he's got little grooves on him a little snowman And then you just wipe, wipe the top off. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a little bit more. <laughs> I want to do it properly. <laughs> a little bit more paint, because I can see he's got like his little eyebrows there, or his hat, his little hat. There's a crease, and there's a crease. Okay. I was very hesitant to begin with, because I wasn't sure like if the paint would come off. So I was only putting a dinsy weensy little bit on, but now that I know that it's going to work. I can just push a bit more in there, hey? Okay, like so. I need to get another. Actually, let's use my white one. I'm getting covered in paint now. Okay, no, oh gosh, no. Don't use the wet one, it just wipes it straight back off again. <laughs> go <laughs> oh my gosh yeah I did um the wet wipe wiped it back off again so don't use a wet wipe okay you can just use 
a bit of paper towel. And look, you can actually see that it's a snowman. Look at me. You can't take me anywhere. Hey, look at the mess I've made. Now, don't be angry with me for taking so long. I've never done this before. And my wet wipe wiped it all off. So I'm going to put it back on now. Bear with me, you guys. Bear with me. I'm getting there. Okay. Because I want to do it right, you know? I want to do it right. Okay. There you go. You can see that he's a snowman now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look. How cute is that? I probably need to do a little bit more on him. Put some more black in there. I think black's fine. I mean, I was looking for navy, but I didn't have any. But black's fine. So what do you think? <laughs> oh, all right, I better leave you, hey? Clean up my mess. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Now, let me know what you think of these. Really pretty. Love them. Which is your favourite? And it's good that you can get a set of four. Now... What I was thinking was with this one, um, because it's got this lip here. I don't know if you can see. It's got that lip there. So you couldn't just, I guess you could just fill that in and it could be a coaster. But what I'm thinking of is put tape around the edge and then fill it with resin so that you've got a smooth top and it can be a coaster. But anyway, that's for another video, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that they've worked. Let me go and clean myself up. I've got to jump in the shower anyway. I've got people coming over in like three hours. Oh my gosh, I'm almost ready. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is my favourite. Love this one. It's got so much going on in it. All right, I'll see you all real soon for the next video. Take care. Merry Christmas. Bye for now.